Yo, hey guys, Smallmouth Crush, Epic Eric. What's happening? And we got somebody special in the front of the boat, Hank Parker. What's going on? Hey, we're going to crush a smallmouth. We came up here not to play, but to do business. That's right. That's right. Listen, guys, we're, we're going to try to capture a few smallmouth today. We got a cool little uh, way of catching them, too. We're going to be throwing some Berkeley procs. We're actually going to be throwing some the Max little. Scent. The little. Uh, little generals. Little general, little come general. on. Ned Reagan. Ned Reagan. Little. little. You guys know I love Ned Reagan. Little. It's about like how I'm feeling right now. Why are you standing up there like that? I like to be tall. Okay. I like to stand tall. All right, too much talking. Let's get into it. That's all coming up. Coming up. Now let's see, when you got a show called Smallmouth Crush, it's necessary to crush the smallmouth. We're hoping so. Water temperature is 49.1 degrees. A little cooler. A little cooler. When's the last time you fished out here, Hank? It's been about 30 years. Whoa. That's crazy, isn't it? It is. It is. I knew I was going to get back up here. I didn't think it would take me quite that long. <laughs> So you've been in here a little more recent than I have. Yeah, we're hoping to catch a catch a few fish. So talk about your setup. My setup, my setup. I got a little bitty half head and a Lil General on some eight pound Trilene 100% fluorocarbon on a inshore rod and reel that Lou's makes that they fuss at me for using all the time. They said, why don't you use our bass stuff? Because I absolutely love this seven foot, 11 inch rod. So that's why I'm doing it. So I'm not in salt water, but who knows? The fish don't really care. That's true. <laughs> See you later. Got him. Oh, it hooks up. Eric has got the fish. Nice. Ooh, that's a Ooh, good one. Eric. Eric. Oh. oh. Is it good? Oh. Oh. Come on, now. It's freezing. That's a good start. Look at that. Right where it should be. Pretty. Will you crush that small one up there? <laughs> Perfect. Fish on. up Travis and I were talking and I wanted to know of your two classic wins which was the most memorable oh the last one uh, the first one you know was my only my second year on the bass circuit and I didn't really realize how tough it was to do those things by the time I got to that second one I realized it's pretty tough to win so it went a lot, and just the way that whole thing came about, I should have won it the year 88, Guido won it. What lake was that on? It was on the uh, James River in Richmond. Oh yeah, uh, you used, was there, was there, there we go. Look at here, yeah, look that at That was you. dead sticking. Yep, I really, I did, yep. a little guy, but I, we're proud of that. Man, I like the way you wound him in. Right, you didn't right. give him a chance. Uh -uh. Did you enjoy the fight? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not a lot of movement. I know. I was dead, like I was saying, I was dead sticking when I caught mine. I don't know why they want it that way. But so back to the baits. What were you throwing on the James River? You know. I did a lot of different things the first couple of days. Right. Uh, 
the last day I caught them all. There he goes. Is he there? I caught a pretty good number of them on a worm and a crankbait. Just the, the key to winning on those tidal waters is to figure out how to catch fish on high tide. I agree. Oh, yeah. Really? We get to see it. Double. Yeah. Double. Oh, he saw it. Oh, Daily no. Uh -oh. Daily double gone. We call out the daily. Could we get a daily triple, man? A daily triple would be awesome. That'd be awesome. Look here what we got, boys and girls. That's a first fish on that bait. Oh, yeah. First one, and I'd just pop my little eight pound test line. How about that? When I popped him in the boat. See that little bait? That's beautiful. Looks oh my like gosh, goby, that's just it? like a goby. That's crazy. And it's got a little hook, um, a little weed guard, guard on it. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Oh, nice. Fish on. Heck yeah. <laughs> oh, don't come on. Oh, don't come on. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, he came on. Oh, oh, he came Oh, the agony of the fish. Hey, why are your fish fatter than ours? I don't know. I gotta get it again. That bad fish. It's it's not bad. We think can't give him four pounds on that one. I'm gonna give him two pounds. <laughs> <laughs> All right, three pounds. Three pounds. How did it go from four to three to two? I don't know. We'll take the average in the middle and in a three. Kind of showing out a little bit here. A little bit. Too happy with there. We're gonna put you in the. He's hogging the back of the boat. <laughs> the back of the boat. Hogging the back. There oh, there he goes. Good. Oh yeah. Oh, good one. Oh, oh, look at him out here. Look at him. Oh, mouth. Get up here. Yeah. That's a small mouth bass. Even he's small all over. <laughs> <laughs> Not only his mouth. I will tell you something, though. That was quite the bite. He hit it hard. He just pushed it at Wow. We got a fish on again. That's a peg, huh? It's a big one. A big one on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Every time. Oh. Good morning. My thumbs. Now, as we look at this. He ate that thing. He Look did. at it. I he ate it. Throated it. Look at that. Throated it. I like the way you said that. He throated it. They've all had it. He ate it. He ate it. He ate that. In my book. Nice. My. Okay. There, there you go, That's Travis. a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. We got a good one. That can only mean good things. Okay, he's good. He's good. He's so good. Not bad. Not bad fish. Look at that man. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> I think we found them out here, guys. Did I do it?
That's a good one. Look at that one. That's why you come out here for these. Yeah. Pretty fish. Eric, it's not every day you get to fish with a two time classic champion. Oh, I fish with him every day. <laughs> Travis, you didn't, you didn't know. I've been fishing with him all my life and I'm still not impressed with him. <laughs> Man, we look here. Yes. Remember all those nights I didn't know what to do and I'd call you and you'd say, try, try this thing, put on a spinnerbait. I would. I'd say, throw <laughs> that hey. classic spinnerbait. Yeah. It's a classic spinnerbait yeah. for a reason. You don't need all that new fancy gear. That's, you Just, helped me so much in those hours, middle, middle of the night. I'd, I'd pick up that phone. Say, what to do? <laughs> <laughs> Is Travis a happy guy? He's he happy. Smiling. He's finally he happy. So intense because he did not have the big fish. Now he's got it. So he is smiling from ear to ear. <laughs> you see that, don't you, Eric? I do. Yeah. I do. He, he was just, a little worried back he, there. He thrown you, and now he's happy. That's right. All right. Everybody's happy. I'm just along for the ride. Now he does. Come on, Eric. That's a good one. Oh boy. I put my Leo General back on. I didn't right now. Big size, did you? Mm-hmm. That was dead stick. Guess what I was doing? Dead stick. Getting a knot, a wind knot out of the braid. Oh. That's crazy. That was by design. I know. That's how I caught that first one. I need to go back because I've been moving the bait a little too much. Little too much. I still may be the weight leader. I got the break off blue. I got the big fish blues. I make a long cast and I throw it out into the blue. He's crooning a little bit up there. There you go. We're learning. Hey! I just had a bite out there. Did you? Oh yeah, he dropped it. I don't know. There he's back. So we ended up catching a few fish this morning. A couple good ones mixed in. Water conditions changed a little bit. It's a little bit more cloudy today. The wind's kicking up a little bit. But you put your time in. Get up shallow this time of year. As soon as those water temps start to rise just a little bit, these fish are going to start moving in. They're going to start thinking they got they got spawning on their mind, even though we're probably a good three weeks to maybe a month away before that happens. But it's getting close. Little General was the deal. We're using uh, straight black, green pumpkin. Any of those natural colors are going to work great. Agent E. Agent E. Agent E. Agent e. I called it Project. I did. Agent E. Agent E. Secret. So Hank's throwing the agent and he's crawling out along the bottom. Got the little general tied on as well. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright guys, hey, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Leave, leave any likes and comments. Make sure you pick up some of these baits. Give them a try. Listen, we know Max Scent works. Lil General. Lil General. Lil General. Get it right. Oh, he got it. Is the deal. And as always, guys, until next time, we'll see you, see you on, on the water. water. On the water.
All right, man, that was fun, wasn't it? That was incredible, They're going to continue shooting the show over there. We're uh, going to go look for some more fish here. Travis, but, we just fished with a legend. I Hank know, Parker, awesome. man. How'd that happen? That was awesome, Dude, bro. Dude, man, thank you, man. Yeah. What a privilege. All right. Great time on the water. Enjoyed it. We actually fished a little bit more. Eric caught a giant. Yeah, that a big, That's a pig, That's dude. a big Six fish. Six and a half. Wow. Holy. Holy. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God.